Revitalize or tear down. Those are two of the options being debated for the future of Uptown's epicenter complex. What was once a popular nightlife complex is now just rows of abandoned storefronts. Yeah, tonight for the first time, WCNC Charlotte's Brandon Goldner spoke to the original project architect about this epicenter's legacy. And Brandon, do you learn that these architects dealt with several challenges? That's right, Vanessa and Fred. The epicenter we know today wasn't supposed to look like this, but its unique design, which some praise but others criticize, is the result of many unique challenges. The best architects are storytellers. The epicenter story reads more like an epic poem, but instead of people facing down supernatural forces, Ragona Architecture and Design's Matt Ragona dealt with forces of economics and topography. When people ask about my company, I always say, well, we were the project architect for the epicenter because it's, everybody knows what it is. Yet he argues they don't know why the epicenter is what it is. This is the epicenter's original design. Working within a three-acre sloping city block, Ragona's team had to turn the inevitable empty areas or negative spaces between their buildings into positives. And it just kind of energizes the whole property. It was meant to be more of a mix of uses in there. Unfortunately, it kind of got taken over by a lot of more clubs. There's no Aloft Hotel in the original design. The parking structure was already under construction when Aloft approached the previous owner and we changed that building. It was going to be a steel frame building like the two smaller ones. Then the city wanted to bridge its first ever light rail into the complex. It got started and the design kept changing as we were building. It was such a long um, construction process. Then the condo tower was nixed, and the original developers ran into financial problems. We couldn't get it opened, and they, things just ended up a little bit put together not quite as well as it should have been. Ragona argues many criticisms about the epicenter's design, like its foreboding 4th Street facade, can be traced back to these constant changes. You just kind of, kind of roll with it and adjust, and sometimes it's not your exact vision, but that's how the world is. Like a complex jigsaw puzzle, the epicenter's story didn't turn out how many expected. But Ragona argues this shouldn't be its ending scene. Ragona says one of those reasons tearing down the epicenter wouldn't work is the complex utility and structural systems that is underneath the building as a result of all of those construction changes, which would make it too difficult for demolition. Brandon Goldner, WCNC Charlotte. Certainly some interesting insights in that piece. Brandon, we appreciate that. And hey, we got to say it. It's a bittersweet day for us. Um, for folks who haven't caught it on Brandon's socials, today is his last day with us. He's off to greener pastures, a little bit closer to home. So yeah. we just want to thank you so much for all the hard work that you've done for this community and your time here. You're such a hard worker and scooping so many stories. <laughs> mm -hmm. We will miss you and yeah. wish you the best of luck, Brandon. No, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank Absolutely. you. Absolutely.